Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about Decentralized Clinical Trials, or DCTs, more after the intro. Clinical trials, which involve testing new treatments and interventions on human subjects, are an important component of drug development. Clinical trials have traditionally been carried out at a clinical site, where patients are required to visit for all study activities such as screening, treatment, monitoring, and data collection. However, as technology has advanced, decentralized clinical trials have emerged as an alternative model for conducting clinical trials. But what are decentralized clinical trials? Decentralized clinical trials, DCTs, use cutting-edge technology and remote tools to enable patients to participate in clinical studies without having to travel to clinical sites on a regular basis. Patients can participate in decentralized clinical trials from the comfort of their own homes using telemedicine, remote monitoring, and wearable devices. These cutting-edge technologies allow researchers to collect the necessary data while making patient participation convenient and comfortable. Decentralized clinical trials reduce the burden on patients while increasing participation rates, making it easier to conduct clinical trials more efficiently. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to decentralized clinical trials. Let us begin with the advantages. Improved patient access. Decentralized clinical trials have the potential to improve patient access to clinical trials. Patients who live far away from a clinical site, have mobility issues or other factors that make travel to a site difficult can participate in a trial from home. This means that the study can enroll a more diverse patient population. Lower patient burden. Decentralized clinical trials can reduce the burden of travel and time commitment for patients, which can lead to improved patient retention. This can also make patients' experiences more comfortable and convenient. More accurate data collection. Because patients can enter data in real time from home using wearable devices and other remote monitoring tools, decentralized clinical trials can lead to more accurate and complete data collection. This can also result in faster data collection, which can speed up the clinical trial process. Lower costs. Decentralized clinical trials have the potential to lower costs associated with traditional clinical trials, such as site overhead costs, patient and study staff travel expenses, and other logistical expenses. Improved patient experience. Because patients can participate in the study from the comfort of their own homes, Decentralized clinical trials can improve overall patient experience. This can result in higher patient satisfaction and possibly better outcomes. Let us now look at the disadvantages of decentralized clinical trials. Data security and privacy. Data security and privacy are major concerns with decentralized clinical trials. Patient data must be safeguarded and kept private which can be difficult when data is collected remotely. Regulatory compliance. There may be regulatory compliance issues with decentralized clinical trials to consider. This is especially true for trials with international sites or patients. Patient engagement. Patients enrolled in a DCT may have less direct contact with the clinical site and research team. This can result in decreased participation and adherence to study protocols. Technical difficulties. Decentralized clinical trials necessitate the use of technology, which can be difficult for some patients, particularly those who are elderly or have limited access to technology. To summarize, the use of decentralized clinical trials, DCTs, has the potential to revolutionize the way clinical trials are conducted by providing patients with a more convenient and accessible option while still providing researchers with accurate and valuable data. However, it is critical to carefully weigh the advantages and disadvantages of decentralized clinical trials and to ensure that adequate safeguards are in place to protect patient safety and confidentiality 
as well as data security concerns and technological challenges. Although decentralized clinical trials are a relatively new approach, preliminary results indicate that they can improve patient access and data collection accuracy. However, additional research is required to fully understand the impact of them. Researchers can ensure that decentralized clinical trials are used safely and effectively to improve the clinical trial process by carefully weighing the benefits and drawbacks and implementing appropriate safeguards. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.